Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm your instructor, Jim Pytel, and today we'll identify and configure basic circuit protection mechanisms on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive. Given the range of customizable features available on this drive, this could be a rather lengthy discussion. But to keep this manageable, we'll limit our discussion to errors, overloads, warnings, and active overload limitation mechanisms employed by the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive. This lecture is predicated on the assumption that viewers watch the configuring multifunction outputs on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive lecture available at the Big Bad Tech channel, since we'll be configuring the multifunction digital output P1 and multifunction electrical mechanical relay output to execute different functions during this application exercise. If you haven't watched this lecture yet or only dimly recall its contents, please take the time to do so now. Additionally, since we'll be dealing with this particular manufacturer's parameter programming process and navigation within it, it may be helpful to download the associated datasheet and or user manual. Before making use of the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive, we'll initialize the drive to a default state and clear any errors using the initialization and protection parameter B084. Then we'll program it to recognize a 200 watt motor with a nominal rotational speed of 1800 RPM using the motor settings parameters H003 and H004. Finally, we'll program the drive to recognize an external speed potentiometer input using extended function parameter A001. This start state establishes a 60 Hz base frequency, a 60 Hz maximum frequency, forward default rotation, a linear volts per hertz ratio, a 10 second linear acceleration time, and a 10 second linear deceleration time, among other properties. This motor drive is now ready for today's activities. First and foremost, this drive includes important basic safety protection mechanisms that recognize and respond to basic fault conditions, including overcurrent events, overloads, over and under voltage events, memory, communication, processor errors, and thermal errors, to name just a few. A full list of their associated error codes appear in the user's manual. For example, error code E01 indicates an overcurrent trip while in constant speed mode. The user's manual further specifies that an overcurrent trip while in constant speed mode will depower the output. The default response for most of these important fault conditions is to depower the output and signal an alarm with the appropriate error code. However, the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive also allows a user to customize this response depending upon the needs of the system. Alternate responses to a fault condition include an immediate restart or a restart after a user customizable wait time. Additionally, the restart experience can be customized to initiate the restart with an acceleration period, match frequency, or match frequency, then decelerate. Beyond this customized restart ability, the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive also includes the ability to ride out momentary loss of supply voltage for a brief time, potentially freeing an ongoing process from interruption. This level of customization is definitely treading beyond the territory of what you need to know and well inside the nice to know land, so we'll just leave it at that for now. For our purposes, we'll assume the drive's response to any of these fault conditions is to signal an alarm and output the appropriate error code. Should a fault occur, the drive will log the time and value at the time of occurrence and execute the pre-programmed response. Beyond the passive recognition of a fault, the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive can be configured to actively respond to an error using the multifunction digital output P1 or the multifunction electromechanical relay output executing the 05 alarm output function. As one such application, consider a drive that ordinarily accelerates and decelerates a motor and applied load during regular operation without the needs of a friction brake. However, in the case of an emergency, it needs to engage a friction brake. In this application, the solenoid of a spring-operated, electrically released friction brake is continually energized via the normally closed side of the multifunction electromechanical relay output executing the alarm function, thus keeping the friction brake continually disengaged during normal operation. If, however, the drive experiences an error, be it an overcurrent, a loss of supply voltage, or some externally triggered emergency event, an alarm is triggered and the multifunction electromechanical relay output executing the alarm function changes state and opens, thus de-energizing the brake solenoid. The spring applied electrical release friction brake would engage and lock the rotor in place without a deceleration period whenever the drive experiences an error, even if the error depowers the drive's output. One of the more important alarm events is E05, an overload trip. 
If you recall, an overload event is a high current draw that while temporarily permissible, may be damaging if it is sustained for any length of time. An example of an overload condition might be when a motor experiences unusually high torque or the rotor locks up. These periods of sustained high current draw might damage a motor's insulation and windings over time due to high heat. An overload is therefore functions of two quantities, current magnitude and time. If you recall from the overload relays lecture available at the Big Bad Tech channel, a class 10 electromechanical overload relay will trip in 10 seconds if current is six times the rated value with a curve describing the behavior of the overload at different current magnitudes. A motor drive can mimic the behavior of an electromechanical overload relay by continually monitoring both current magnitude and time. If a period of sustained high current draw is detected, an overload trip can be signaled. The Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive coordinates overload response using protection parameter B012, electronic thermal level. The default level is the rated current of this drive, in this case 2.6 amps, as indicated by the nameplate affixed to the side of the drive. A graph of trip time as a function of current might look something like this. Given a current draw of two times the rated current, it would experience an overload trip in a relatively quick four seconds. Whereas if the drive was experiencing a smaller current draw of 1.5 times the rated current, it would experience an overload trip in a relatively longer 60 seconds. The point being that a drive can overload the motor as long as it is brief and controlled. Overloads only become an issue if they're sustained. Let's examine the overload behavior of the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive. First, we need to establish some baseline current data. With parameter D002, output current monitor being displayed, when an operator presses run, during acceleration, current kind of peaks out around 1.7-ish amps. While in constant speed mode, motor drive appears to be drawing 1.2 to 1.1-ish amps. When an operator presses stop, during deceleration, current kind of peaks out at maybe 1.3-ish amps. Note at no time did the drive fault out due to an overload event, given the motor is properly sized and completely unloaded. Let's trick this drive into thinking the motor is overloaded. Navigate to protection parameter B012, electronic thermal level. As anticipated, the default value is the rated current of 2.6 amps. Let's decrement this value to, let's say, 1.09 amps. This value is just below the steady state run value of 1.1 to 1.2-ish amps. Given this relationship, the drive should run. However, it will eventually overload. Let's see if this is the case. As expected, when an operator presses run, the motor drive linearly increases applied voltage and excitation frequency over the acceleration period. Note the bottom pilot light is low side switch by multifunction digital output P1 executing the run function. The motor accelerates and speed stabilizes. Note the top pilot light is high side switch by the multifunction electromechanical relay output executing the constant speed arrival function. While we sit around and wait for this motor to overload, does anybody know any good jokes? I do. What do you get if you cross an elephant and a rhino? Elephino? That was pretty lame, huh? Speaking of lame, one of my students asked me the other day, in all seriousness, who is Flava Flav? And I'm like, who is Flava Flav? Who are you? Get out of my sight. Don't even come back till you get yourself some culture. Aha! Maybe a minute or so into the experiment, the drive powers off the output and faults out. The data display says E05 corresponding to an overload trip as we anticipated. Note the alarm LED on the drive is illuminated. Like I mentioned earlier, rather than switching some dumb pilot light using the constant speed arrival function, the multifunction electromechanical relay output could be put to better use switching a brake solenoid using the alarm output function to lock the de-energized motor in place for emergency purposes if the application warranted this level of protection. A technician experiencing an overload trip must wait 10 seconds and then reset the drive to resume operation. Let's return protection parameter B012 electronic thermal level back to the default state of 2.6 amps. That way we're not continually faulting out due to an early overload. By the way, the origin of frequent unwarranted overloads may simply be the fact that this drive's overload limit is set too low. Never assume for a moment someone isn't diddling with the equipment in your absence. Trust no one, least of all your lazy lab partner. Moving on, the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive 
rather than just waving the white flag and rolling over whenever an overload occurs, also allows early recognition and active limitation of overloads. Let's examine the early warning system first. An overload event might be thought of as some cliff you wish to avoid driving off. A warning, in contrast, might be a sign that says, watch out, cliff ahead, don't drive off it. It makes sense then that the sign warning of the cliff should come before the cliff itself. Communication parameter C04, overload warning level, serves as the sign before the cliff. The default setting for the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive overload warning level is the rated current. If one reduced overload warning level to something below the rated current, an operator or system could get an early warning of an impending overload and take the necessary precautions. Recall during the configuring multifunction outputs on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive lecture, available at the Big Bad Tech channel, we learned to change communication parameter C021, multifunction output terminal P1 selection, to vary the function of multifunction digital output P1. One of the more useful available functions is 03, overload warning. Given a properly sized unloaded motor, if we wire up a pilot lamp low side switch by multifunction digital output P1 and change communication parameters C021, multifunction output terminal P1 selection to 03, overload warning, this pilot lamp should not illuminate given communication parameter Z041, overload warning level is in the default state of 2.6 amps. With parameter D002, output current monitor being displayed, when an operator presses run, during acceleration, current kind of peaks out at around 1.7-ish amps. While in constant speed mode, the motor appears to be drawing 1.2 to 1.1-ish amps. When an operator presses stop, during deceleration, current kind of peaks out at around 1.3-ish amps. Note that at no time did current ever rise to the warning level currently set at the default value of 2.6 amps, and the pilot lamp never illuminated. Let's adjust a related communication parameter, C041 overload warning level, to an unusually small level to trigger the warning, even during an unloaded condition. Note the overload warning level is exactly that, a warning and not an indicator of an actual overload where the drive faults out or takes action to correct it. Navigate to communication parameter C041, overload warning level. As expected, the default warning level is the rated output of this drive, in this case 2.6 amps decrement this value to let's say 1.1 amps and press enter to save it. If you're tracking, you should be able to predict the behavior of the pilot lamp switched by multifunction digital output P1 in 03 overload warning mode during acceleration, constant speed, and deceleration. Let's see the overload warning function in operation. With parameter D002 output current monitor being displayed, when an operator presses run, during acceleration, whenever current is in excess of 1.1 amps, the pilot lamp switched by multifunction digital output P1 executing the overload warning function illuminates. While in constant speed mode, the pilot lamp switched by multifunction digital output P1 executing the overload warning function kind of flutters on and off as current vacillates around 1.2 to 1.1-ish amps. When an operator presses stop, when current drops below 1.1 amps, the pilot lamp switch by multifunction digital output P1 executing the overload warning function turns off. Obviously, an overload warning of 1.1 amps is way too low given this motor is unloaded. However, a technician can change the overload warning level and enable this function to get an early notice of a potential overload and take the necessary precautions. Let's return communication parameter C041 overload warning level back to the default state of 2.6 amps. That way we won't get a false warning of an impending overload. Beyond faulting out during an overload, or warning of an impending one, the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive can also actively respond to and correct an ongoing overload condition using an ingenious yet extremely simple method, notably by temporarily reducing applied voltage and excitation frequency with a time deceleration event. Ohm's law, perhaps you've heard of it, dictates that if current is too high, either voltage is too high or opposition too low, or both. If applied voltage can be reduced or opposition somehow increased, current should decrease in response. Given a motor drive can vary both applied voltage and excitation frequency, this seems an elementary method of self-correction. However, the deceleration event designed to correct the overload needs to be carefully coordinated not to interfere with the application. This active overload limitation response is configured using three protection parameters. 
the first and most important being B022, the overload limit itself. This is the cliff edge beyond which warnings no longer suffice and drastic measures need to be taken if the system wishes to avoid an overload trip. The default state of the overload limit is 1.5 times the rated current of 2.6 amps or 3.9 amps. The other two protection parameters, B021, overload limit selection, and B023, deceleration time, respectively dictate during which occasions active overload limitation occurs and how long it takes to decelerate the motor under direction. Protection parameter B021, overload limit selection, has three available options. 00, zero disable active overload limitation at all times. Zero, 01, the default state, enables active overload limitation during acceleration and constant speed mode. And zero, 02, enables active overload limitation only during constant speed mode. Protection parameter B023, deceleration time, is the time span of the deceleration event. A quicker deceleration time evokes only a brief application of the brakes, whereas a longer one applies the brakes longer and thus checks speed more significantly. Again, the needs of the application necessitate a thorough investigation of the overload limit level and time and the validity and suitability of this technique. No one solution is best fit for all applications. The default setting of deceleration time is one second. Let's see the active overload limitation in action. Again, we're going to have to kind of trick this motor drive into thinking this unloaded motor is overloaded by setting the overload limit to an unusually low value. Recall that in an unloaded condition, current kind of peaked out at 1.7-ish amps during the acceleration period just before reaching full speed. Let's set the overload limit at let's say 1.62 amps and see how the drive responds. Navigate to protection parameter B021, overload limit selection, and press mode. As anticipated, it's in the default state of 01, which enables active overload limitation during acceleration and constant speed mode. Navigate to protection parameter B022, overload limit level, and press mode. As anticipated, it's in the default state of 1.5 times the rated current of 2.6 amps, or 3.9 amps. Let's decrement this to an unusually low value of 1.62 amps to trick this drive into think that the motor is overloading. Press enter to save this value. Navigate to protection parameter B023, deceleration time and press mode. As anticipated, it's in the default state of one second. Let's leave it at one second. This would be equivalent to a gentle tap on the brakes when reaching the overload limit, rather than locking it up and sliding to a screeching halt. In keeping with this analogy, what we're about to witness here might be equivalent to driving a car between point A and B. However, there's a speed limit between A and B. Every time speed, in this case analogous to current, rises above this limit, a gentle tap of the brakes brings speed back under control. Given speed is now capped, it might take a little longer for a car to drive from A to B. However, it will eventually get there. Maybe. If we unintentionally set this overload limit too low, which is a distinct possibility, we might never break over to constant speed mode and just kind of hover in limbo indefinitely. I'm willing to bet this motor will struggle a bit, but we'll eventually make it. If only the same thing could be said about your lazy lab partner. Using the procedures established in the configuring multifunction outputs on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive lecture, available at the Big Bad Tech channel, note I've enabled two indicator outputs. A 24 volt DC pilot lamp on the bottom low side switch by multifunction digital output P1 executing the run function. Whenever the drive is actively accelerating in constant speed mode or decelerating, this light should come on. The second is a 120 volt AC rated pilot lamp on the top high side switch by the multifunction electromechanical relay output executing the constant speed arrival function. Whenever the motor reaches constant speed mode, this light should come on. Recall with an active overload limitation set at a default state of 3.9 amps, it took 10 seconds to accelerate this motor to the base frequency. Let's see how it responds with the overload limit at a comically low level of 1.62 amps. With parameter D02 output current monitor being displayed, when our operator presses run, all starts well. However, whenever current exceeds 1.62 amps, we notice a slight hiccup in the motor speed as applied voltage and excitation frequency is temporarily decreased to keep current below this limit. The drive and motor kind of do a little dance with current alternatively rising above and dropping below 1.62 amps. Despite the limitation, eventually the motor comes up to speed. Note the upper pilot lamp executing the constant speed arrival function does come on However, it took an increased acceleration period of 17 seconds to do so because current was being actively limited to 1.62 amps 
rather than the default value of 3.9 amps. Again, by recognizing an overload in progress, this means if active current limitation can keep the system from faulting out. I think this feature is pretty cool, as should you. All right, that's about it for this short applications exercise. In conclusion, we learned to identify and configure basic protection mechanisms on the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive. We learned to read error codes associated with important fault conditions, examine the response to an overload trip, discussed early overload warning mechanisms, and demonstrated the active overload limitation response employed by the Omron 3G 3JX AE004 motor drive. Remember to review these concepts as often as you need to really drive it home. Imagine how well lab will go if you know what you're doing. Thank you very much for your attention and interest, and we'll see you again during the next lecture of our series. Remember to tell your Lazy Lab partner about this resource, and be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates. Thank <laughs> you.